Hello guys, hello my fellow developers. Today I'm going to tell you about one interesting concept, uh, the abbreviation CRUD. Uh, I bet you've heard a bit about it before, maybe you hear it every day. The CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update, Delete, which is the basic set of operations which one can perform over a database. Uh, so you know how we like abbreviations. But, uh, th th this one is very practical and very meaningful. So flat logic also has to offer an interesting innovative tool, which allows you to create a CRUD application in just a few minutes. So basically if, if you need some CRUD application, it's something when users can see data from your database, uh, can add some entries there. The admin can view the list of users, change their statuses, also look into the data. So I, I guess now I've described like 95% of all business applications. For that, you will need a database, which is a set of tables with columns and references, also a backend, uh, which drives all those operations on the server and your front end, which works in your browser. Uh, and also the protocols like REST, which connect all those uh, guys together. Um, so um, I would say uh, you will need a few days or a week to create uh, such a system from scratch. Uh, so there is a better way to do it, uh, to use some automation system like FlatLogic Web App Generator. So uh, in order to create such CRUD app, we go to flatlogic.com. We go to uh, create app section. Here we have some information, uh, for instance, mentioning um, the frameworks and libraries available for CRUD. Say we can choose between React, Vue, Angular, also can choose MySQL, Postgres, Node.js versus Laravel uh, in case you need any of those. So we go to create app. Um, okay, so let's create something practical, say a, an online store. Okay, uh, I will choose a name, let's call it simply my shop. Choose this tag. Let it be React, Node.js, Postgres. Okay, we have three design options for those stack. I would prefer a classic. Okay, so for, for the schema editor, we have this um, the starting table users. You need it anyway, because without that, you just don't, don't have a password to log in. You cannot log in into your system. So um, users is a default table here. Uh, we also have a number of preset schemas. So if we go with e-commerce, we'll have this basic set of tables, uh, typical of an online store, like products, orders, reviews. Also, we have categories here uh, to create the navigation menu. <clears throat> so the generator has uh, allows several types uh, for the columns. So beginning from simple string, numbers, dates, which will, will be rendered as a calendar, Boolean, a checkbox, image uploader, and also relation one and relation many, which will be rendered as a drop-down list uh, with autocomplete, uh, also for single select or multiple select. Okay, so later on, I'll show you how this schema is rendered uh, into UI controls. Uh, all right, so, so we use this default schema, so therefore it's very fast here. We just click next and we're ready to generate the app. So we review, see that everything is okay, just the way we want it. So we have all our entities ready to create. Well, I think we're done with the generation. Uh, so in here we have this demo link. And when we click it, we see the status of our application, which has not been deployed yet. So we push deploy. And so we start the deploy, deploy process, which is going to take several minutes because we need to uh, prepare the files, create the domain, the database, and also to build the app. So it's done on our server using 
npm builder. Uh, what we get as the result is, is this full stack application deployed and working on the server, which starts with the login page. So the database is fully empty. We just have one record and this table users is the admin account. Uh, so we have all the authorization and authentication system implemented here in this app, of course. So let's log in. Okay, so, and we see our admin system. So we can see our products, categories, orders, just the ones we saw in our schema editor for products. Uh, yeah, I've just added this record here. So we see that we can read the data, which stands for the R. We can create a new one. Okay. Uh, let it be some car. Be pretty pricey. Do I have any cars in my photos here? I guess I should have one. Yeah, this is my Ford Fusion actually. Okay, so it's in stock. We get the second record. So the C operation done, created. If we go to categories and add cars here, and add another category, say something like echo. We go to products, so we can update our car to, uh, to perform the U operation, which is update. So we'll go to categories. Let's assign cars and echo here. Since my Ford Fusion is a hybrid, I think we can assign echo category to it. Okay. So we added, the record has been updated. So we can also delete it, of course. You see, uh, you have this uh, confirmation dialog, uh, all the convenience item, everything integrated seamlessly and automatically here. So you just don't think, uh, don't have to think about it. So what's most important, uh, I think the winning feature of FlatLogic Web App Generator as compared to the competition is that we provide full access to the code. You will see the Node.js backend, uh, the React frontend, all the SQL uh, in the Postgres, uh, so everything editable, you can just open it in your IDE and continue developing it. So I, I think it's a really nice jump starter. So that'll be it for today. I think my short crowd guide was interesting. So and see you later, guys.